Welcome back to the Fenrir Labrador Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Labrador. So if you are just obsessed with Labradors, well, this is the place for you. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload here on the Fenrir Labrador Show. So let's dive into today's video and we'll compare two of the most common dog breeds in the world and what you should consider when choosing the right canine companion for your home. Both the Labrador Retriever and the Springer Spaniel are originally hunting dogs. Both breeds are still used in hunting and for the, this reason they are in general energetic and active dogs. Especially the Labrador needs lots and lots of exercise every day to prevent them from being hyperactive and frustrated and sometimes even destructive in the home. The Springer Spaniel is quite happy with regular exercise on a daily basis. Both breeds like to engage in long walks, hiking as well as swimming, obedience, agility, rally, tracking and of course hunting. On the Labrador side the breed is split in two where one line is directed to hunting while the other is more about the exterior and dog shows. The Springer Spaniel is more thoroughly a hunting dog but both breeds work just as well as an active family dog. Both these breeds are very friendly and playful but the Labrador may be slightly more outgoing than the Springer Spaniel. They are close to their families but the Springer Spaniel is more prone to separation anxiety due to their need to stay close to the pack or family. Being bred to work closely with people, both the Labrador and the Springer Spaniel are easy to train. Both breeds are eager to please their humans and they work very well in family situations. Like any dog of any size and mentality, both Labrador and Springer Spaniel should be supervised when interacting with children. But they are both very good with little humans. Due to its size, the Labrador should learn at an early age how to behave around smaller people, especially since they are known for their wagging tails, persistently moving back and forth, which could easily knock over a toddler. While both breeds enjoy the company of their human pack, the Springer Spaniel is quite the explorer of unknown territories. Therefore, keeping them on lead is highly recommended since they tend to run off on their own. The biggest difference between the Labrador Retriever and the Spring Spaniel is size and their coats. The Lab is the larger of the two, while the Spring Spaniel has a longer coat and needs more work to groom. The Lab's coat is easy to care for, whereas the Spring Spaniel's coat needs brushing thoroughly at least once a week. Both breeds have flapping ears. The Spring Spaniels are much longer though that needs extra care to clean thoroughly. The Labrador is prone to obesity due to its huge appetite. You should always give your dog, regardless of the breed, good nutritious food with consideration to breed and age. These are some of the similarities and differences between these two glorious breeds. I hope you learned something new or found something new to consider if you're thinking about bringing one of these dogs into your home yourself. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved in the comments down below. Let us know what your favorite thing about these two wonderful breeds are. We have two dedicated Labrador videos coming here every single week. So make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. I can't wait to see you again right here on the Fenrir Labrador Show.